we're going to start building maps. And the first we're going to do it is we're going to start building them with mid journey. We're going to go with this map. I will be using Photoshop here. We have our map. I'm going to resize it and I'm going to resize it to the size of the map builder we're using. So the first thing is to set up this two pixels and we're going to grow it to 2,592. We're going to say resample and preserve details for enlargement. It, it actually, the AI in Photoshop helps you enlarge it. And we're going to be working with a grid of 48 pixels by 48 pixels. When we move on to the map building software, that's what's going to be. And that's what we're going to work. So we need to do the same and actually visualize the grid in here. How do we visualize the grid? We go to edit preferences and in edit preferences, we go to guides, grid and slices. And in guides, grid and slices, we're going to go to the grid. We're going to choose a color, whatever color you like. We can say it's light red. We say it's dotted lines. We can say it's dash lines that we're going to put 48 by 48 pixels and one subdivision. OK, keep that in mind. If you want to work it with pixel art and you want to paint on top of it, there's an extra step you need to do in general. You got to change the image interpolation by cubic, by cubic by the one that says nearest neighbor preserve hard edges. That is if you're working pixel art, I'm not going to be working pixel art. So I'm going to be working with best for smooth gradients in bicubic cubic mode. Why? Because I want smooth gradients in my maps. Okay. So we have it here. Now all we have to do is show yourself and there we have the grid and we see like everything where it fits okay now i'm gonna take this out and and i'm not gonna work with the grid for now i'm just gonna hide it and what i'm gonna start doing is i'm gonna separate the best layer for the map and we're gonna create what we call the world layer the world layer is where all the world objects live our player is going to bump into them. He's going to walk through them. But we need to mark that as a space that our character will not be able to. So you got to start thinking of how this, this works. You can actually, this is the way I'm going to do it. And I start selecting some of the things and deselecting the ones that I don't think should go. And for example, here, I think my character could walk through here. He should be able. So I just deselect that part with alt, holding alt while I work that. Okay. I think we're set. Perfecto. So what I'm going to do now for your enjoyment is cut. This is our walking paths for our characters and then paste on top. So now we have the layer where our characters are just going to be sitting on top. This is what it is. And this is our walking layer. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as separate layers. This layer, I'm going to call it world. And this layer, I'm going to call it base map. And this layer of background, I'm just going to send it to hell. We don't care about that one. So in Photoshop is really easy. You just quick as per SPNG. Freaky Friday map. Freaky Friday B1. That's what we're going to call it. The Freaky Friday. It's actually an original. We're ready in Photoshop and we're going to go to tiled. Welcome tiled. Let's do a new project for this. We're going to call it Freaky Friday. We're going to call it the, the Freaky Project. We're going to start a new map on the Freaky Project. So here, pay attention because these little details really matter. First thing, orientation, orthogonal, orthogonal, not isometric, not isometric staggered, not hexagonal, orthogonal. Then we got the tile layer format. It's going to be in CSV. We're going to go to base 64 uncompressed. Okay. Tile render order, write down. 
And then we're going to change the tiles to 54 by 30 tiles. And our pixels, the tile size, every little square, the size of every little square is going to be 48 by 48. Okay? And it's fixed size. That's what it is. We leave it like that. We say... Okay, and we got our new map. We got the, the tile layer one. So we're gonna work work our base map here and we're gonna select is gonna we're not gonna start a new layer. I got my tile set here in another screen. So I'm gonna bring a new tile set and this tile set is gonna be our base map. This is really important based on tile set image. The type is based on tile set image. And we're going to check this box. Do not forget to check this box. Why? Because it won't work when you upload it if you don't check this box. We check that the tile width is 48 by 48. And we're going to do browse. We're talking about our base map. Here's our base map. And we import it. This is it. This is our base map. If you look at it, this is our whole base map. And we're going to place our base map by selecting all the things that as just I, I showed you. We're going to place it in the map builder. Now we're going to go work. We're going to bring another tile set. And this tile set is going to be the world. And the world is the same. Remember, embedding map. Based on tile set image, source, we're going to grab our world. And 48 by 48, we check everything is right. And we got our world in here. We got our world in here. And this time, we're not going to go, how do you say, place it right now. We're going to play a little bit with this. We come here to edit tile set and we're going to be able to edit our tile set. I think we blocked most of what it was needed to be blocked and now we're just going to create the collider. We already have all these parts. This means that our character is not going to be able to walk over them or under them. We're going to we're going to have him collide with this. We're going to go to add properties here while we have everything selected. We're going to choose Boolean, bool, and we're going to type collide. That's the command, collide. Okay, and then we're going to check it. So now all these little squares means our player is going to bump into them. The other ones, he's going to be able to walk on top of them. But since we're going to put a top layer, he's going to be walking under them. Okay. So I'm going to show you how this works. Right now, we're going to make it the simplest, the easiest way. So we're going to, here, we're going to go to, in our tiles set, we're going to choose our world, and we're going to select all the tiles. And then these tiles, we're going to place it on top of the world. But wait, something is happening. What do we need to do here? We need a new layer, and that layer is the world layer. That means that layer sits on top of the base map. So it's like having stacks of paper, one on top of the other, and they're see-through paper. So this is how it works. Look, we can see it through. We're going to place it on top of our, uh, our, our base map. And bam, there you go. We got ourselves a, a complete map. And our character is going to collide. But wait, we wanted our player to be able to walk under some of these parts, didn't we? Yes, we did. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to create an extra layer that we're going to call the player layer. Wait, sorry. The player layer. And what does it mean? Uh, our character is going to be able to live in that layer. Wait, I'm going to change uh, here. I'm going to underscore it so we don't have any problems. I don't know if that's something you must do, but I do it. And now we're going to call the top layer. We're going to create the top or above player layer. Above player. What are we going to do? These are the things that are like the, our player can go under. 
And remember, not everything collides here. Like our player can walk some of these things. So we're just going to place them. It was like what well, we want our player to be walking like under. That's what we're going to do here. I remember this roof. We had some of this roof. We have this, this pagola. We had all these trees, all these top trees, top of the trees. We had the top of this house. We had the top of this house. We had the top of this house, the top tree, top trees. So all these things, our, our character is going to walk on behind them. Okay. So since we want to do that, we also want to. Okay. So what are we going to do right now is I'm going to save the map. I'm going to save the map <coughs> in the Freaky Friday. So we're going to call it Freaky Friday V1 map. And we need to export the JSON file. So we go control E or we go to file export. And here, this is important. Here, we're going to choose JSON map as a file, but see that the, the extension is not changing. We got to write it ourselves. For some reason, we got to type JSON at the end as the extension and then save it. The first thing is connect your MetaMask wallet. It's going to ask you for, okay, I'm not going to share this part. I already connected my wallet. I'm going to come here to add. And here I'm going to fill out this. The first thing is, okay, Freaky Friday 1 map. Next thing I usually do is upload our JSON files. I'm going to go look for my file, Dega Realms. We're doing maps, selected. We're doing our Freaky Friday V1. And here I'm going to upload the JSON file. I upload the JSON file and then I upload my PNG files. One thing we have to, there they are, it's beginning to render, it's beginning to render. Now the world file. And it renders according to, oh, okay. Looking beautiful, looking pretty. You got to make sure before you publish or create that this render is showing the map as you want it. You already upload the G file, so it needs to render here. If you have a proper JSON file, you will see the render. If you don't see the render, you got to go back to tiled and check all those things that I asked you to check. All those little check boxes that we say, pay attention. This is important. All this is important. And pay attention is because you need to check them. And I'm telling you because I forgot to check them like five times before. So it happens. Okay. And then we create, we say confirm. We're creating the map. And the next thing is not ready yet. You're not finished. There's one extra step, which will be publish. So let's give it a few seconds and yep, map was created successfully. That guy's telling me. So now we go to publish and this is a wallet transaction, BNB chain, testnet. I have some BNB in the testnet. I'm just going to sign the transaction. It's nothing. It's really cheap. 67 cents. We're waiting for drum roll to drum roll. Oh, we should put like some dramatic music. The map is being published published successfully yes we got it Woo, our first map published there we go you, we show our map our freaky friday v1 map is already here pretty much that's it and thank you thank you for tuning in to this tutorial and thank you for learning, remember this 300,000 Dega tokens prize. Yeah, it's worth submitting one map. And the other one, the other thing is everyone that is uploading now is going to be part of the OG collection. And re remember the OGs have special treatment and will have rewards and we have some things airdropped. So you want to be in the OG map builder crew. You want that. So go ahead, start creating, share it, and we're going to be sharing where to put it. And thank you very much. This was really interesting. Stop.